Hello there and welcome back for this second video of wiring up the Maxi CNC router. So for the wiring on this, um, I'm using very flexible. In actual fact, this is an industrial trailer um, cabling. Um, I purchased this from Super Cheap Auto, uh, but it isn't cheap. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is 7 core, alright, 7 core 10 amp cabling, and now this is very special cabling, this is 3 phase, and this is 4 core, and uh, this was uh, supplied via an elect electrical supply shop, and this is ultra expensive, because this is also very flexible okay it is made purposely made for working like this all the time and uh, it won't crack as in you know it won't, the copper won't crack because it's fine uh, copper strands okay so this is going to be run for the spindle then to the VFD and this is going to be run for the stepper motors and the stepper motors require four connections and I also require two connections for each limit switch so there's going to be a limit switch set um, to work against here for the X I'll probably mount it on the Z on the back of the Z uh, I'll need a limit switch at the top of here as well because the Z axis um, registers uh, a, a limit at the top of the stroke, not the bottom. Uh, and there'll be one on the front side over here. You don't require a second one because I'm slaving the both axes, the both Y axes uh, on separate drivers, but on the same signal. Okay, so it's just a matter now of running the cable around. Um, I'm going to be using conduit uh, for the two back Ys, and um, I'm going to be running through the cable train chain then for the, the rest of the the stepper motors and um, what uh, signal wires for the limit switches. So here we go.